uh, the gentleman said, hey, look, I know this guy runs his own business. It may be hard to get him, but, uh, you know, he could come in and be head of uh, construction and head of uh, production, head of head of uh, fabrication. And um, they approached me with the idea and I saw the technology. I saw the nobility behind it, uh, the the outpouring from Jonathan and and his sincerity to go out, clean up this planet, turn it back to the Garden of Eden and leave something uh, substantial for our children, our grandchildren and so on and so forth. Um, you know, that really got to me uh, living in what was almost like a landfill at 15 years old. Um, it was for me, it was a no-brainer. I mean, we could go out and, and make a difference, right? And you had to start over uh, at less than half the pay, I mean, significantly lower pay, and you figured it out. If that's not a testament just to grit and resilience and faith, uh, I mean, I, this is, I was expecting to be inspired today, Joe, but dang, kudos to yeah. you, man. A lot of respect for everything. I, I wonder if there's a study, how many people who in their early teen years go to live on the streets, how many of them get off, get off the streets? I mean, uh, I, I've looked into it. I, I've worked with a lot of at-risk teens over the last 25 years. My wife and I, I mean, we've done a lot of either homeless ministry, uh, working with at-risk teens, counseling, ministering, or coaching. And um, the statistics aren't very friendly, you know, yeah. for people that are going through that particular life. And, you know, of course, I did not accomplish it all on my own. I had a lot of good people that ended up in my life, uh, but also uh, had the hedge of protection from God on my life uh, from from the moment, you know, from from go. I mean, yeah, he had this plan for me to be in this place. Um, and, you know, honestly, that's that's how I get to Eden is because here I am. I just got a big raise in this manufacturing plant in a higher in a wage freeze and a higher freeze. I'm the only one in the plant that got a raise. True story. Uh, my wife worked there and she was like, yeah, people are upset because, you know, people talk and I didn't say anything, but people talk. And, hey, I, you, you got this raise. But two weeks after I got this raise, uh, they were trying to move me into the front office to, to start doing programming and, and management. Uh, but two weeks after I got the raise, I, I got the word from God. He said, you're going to leave this career and you're going to go. Uh, my, my brother, Chris, was still running the with with Steve, my wife's dad. They were still running that family construction or roofing business, okay. but it was failing. It was just going downhill quickly. The economy was terrible. Uh, God said, quit this lucrative career and go out here and uh, take this business over with your brother and build it back up. And uh, when I came home and told my wife, that's what God said. She said, I'm not sure you're hearing correctly, Joe. Uh, are, you, are you sure? And I said, no, I'm, I'm positive that uh, this is the direction that God has me going in. And Everybody said I was an idiot. I mean, I was making a substantial living, taking great care of my family. Uh, and even my brother said, no way, I'm not going to let you do it. You're not going to quit this career that's taking great care of your family to come out here and struggle with me. And I said, well, uh, I already put in my notice, so I'll, I'll, I'll see you here next week. We got to go to work. Um, we had no job, no work. The economy was so slow. Construction was so dead. And uh, my brother said, there's no work out here. I said, look, Chris, my last day is on Thursday. I'm taking the day off Friday. I'm breathing a deep breath of fresh air. I said, but Monday we'll be working. And he had been courting this company for three months to try to get work out of them. And they just said, we don't have any. But if we get some, we'll call you. So Friday, as I'm taking my day off, kicked back, like, oh, OK, God, it's your turn because I'm going to need a job to do on Monday. Um my brother calls me up. He said, you will not believe this, but the company I've been calling for three months said nice. they have a job for us to start Monday. And from there, we launched this business, which is how I get to eat, mm. right? Because this is, I, I end up, you know, years later, uh, as, as we take over 2011, I, I quit my career, took over this uh, company okay. uh, that we called ATRR and, um, we uh, a few years later, as we get this business going, we build a house for a gentleman uh, that um, 
is moving into the regenerative agriculture space. Uh, he meets Jonathan Appel, right? Okay. Jonathan says, hey, uh, I'm starting up this uh, uh, the, the company with this technology for, you know, converting waste into energy. And uh, I'm going to need some good people. Uh, the gentleman said, hey, look, I know this guy runs his own business. It may be hard to get him, but, uh, you know, he could come in and be head of uh, construction and head of uh, production, head of head of uh, fabrication. And uh, they approached me with the idea and I saw the technology. I saw the nobility behind it, uh, the the outpouring from Jonathan and and his sincerity to go out, clean up this planet, turn it back to the Garden of Eden and leave something uh, substantial for our children, our grandchildren and so on and so forth. Um, you know, that really got to me uh, living in what was almost like a landfill at 15 years old. Um, it was for me, it was a no-brainer. I mean, we could go out and and make a difference, right? Absolutely. Uh, that 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 construction business, leaving the manufacturing industry, going into the construction business is how I also met Jason Butler. I did some significant remodel work on his house, and uh, him and I are cut from the same cloth. I mean, uh, he has a. Uh, very similar uh, okay. beginnings, which I won't go into because that's his information. But uh, him and I went through a lot of similar things. And, um, uh, you know, but that that is how uh, I met Jason was because I was in that construction business. But uh, it was a no brainer to get involved with Eden and with Jonathan Appel. Fantastic. I, I, 